gratitude for Reverend Duke and his committee for continuing to keep this march and this event going yeah. for 14 years. Let's give them yeah. all a big yeah. hand. I'm here to express gratitude for J. Ruby Cathy. He has contributed so much to the city of Montevallo. We would not be where we are without him. He provides this beautiful space for members of our community to have their final resting place. I don't think we honor the people enough in our community who contribute in these ways. So I'm very thankful he was selected as a Grand Marshal. I have to give him another name. <laughs> I also want to express gratitude to my uncle, uh, Reverend Will Campbell who marched with Martin Luther King Jr., who was a big part of the civil rights movement. I'm proud of him. That's great. I also want to express gratitude for Reverend King, who laid the foundation that gave my mom the strength and the bravery to integrate our little community pool in Montgomery, Alabama, that was previously only a white pool. Mm -hmm. And when my brother's best friend, Marius, could not go swimming with us, my mom decided she would become the president of that community pool, <laughs> and she would make sure that Marius could come swimming with us. Uh, That's yeah. important. That's so I'm here to express gratitude for all of you for being here, but I'm also here to extend an invitation, because being here today is not enough. It is not enough to pack this auditorium. When I first came to this event, there were only two white faces in the crowd. I see a lot more white faces now, <laughs> and I'm real thankful for that. It's not enough just to see 20, 30 white faces in the crowd. We need true unity in our community. And we have it in so many ways. But what I'm asking you is to do more, and that many of you do, but to do more than to come to these events and to sing and to celebrate what we have. I'm asking you to get involved. I'm asking you to come to city council meetings. I'm asking you to step up when you have the opportunity to serve on a committee or to serve on the city council, like Willie Goldsmith here, who is the longest standing city council member that we have. Thank you, Willie. Like Ms. Harriet, when you have the opportunity, which Ms. Harriet, there she is, when you have the opportunity to open a business in our community, to step up and open a business, we're here to celebrate these minority-owned businesses today. I'm asking you to support these minority-owned businesses. Please do that. I'm also standing here to extend you an invitation on February 10th to participate in Love Montevallo Day. It's a day where we're going to celebrate all of the businesses in town, but we're also going to celebrate the dedication of our main street, where we will hope will be almost complete on that day. Um, but we're also going to have an opportunity to dedicate the, the pro to dedicate the project and to honor the lives of those leaders we've lost that were mentioned before that did pave the path. So on that day, we are, do have the opportunity to honor the lives of two very significant African American leaders in our community who passed, Miss Jeannie Craig and Reverend Earl Cunningham. They deserve this. Treatment. Thank you, but I want to keep that invitation open, and I want you to think when you leave here, make it a point to go to the next city council meeting. Make it a point and come talk to me about concerns or ways you want to get involved because it's important. Thank you. Thank you.